What's going on guys? Welcome back. Man 15 comments here. Do me a favor, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section. Twitter, shutdown safety is my username. If you didn't see the video from yesterday, do me a favor. I'll put a link down in the description. It's only about three minutes long. It's about force impact from Madden 25 to Madden 15. Please go check that out. We're going to basically do the same thing here, except we're going to talk about player sense. I've got the article pulled up. I want to read this to you. The link will be down in the description if you want to check it out. Unlock the human element in Madden NFL 25 on Xbox One and PS4 with the all-new player sense, which gives players the intelligence to scan the field, anticipate situations before they happen, and maneuver with instincts and awareness. Player Sense combines the physical aspect of NFL football with the all-important mental game as players make more than 50 times the calculations to react to situations on the fly. The intriguing thing about that, keeping it in mind as we watch this play, is exactly what this play shows, not just from an offensive, but from a defensive perspective about player intelligence. And again, Madden Ultimate Team being looked at here. The first thing I want to focus on is actually the pull of number 78 because to me if we just talk about players it's incredible that he's going to be able to pull over here and not only block and seal and dominic and sue but also Tullock. it was really you know one of the top defensive tackles in the league and in my opinion a top 30 linebacker now peyton is actually going to split the gap between sue and brown here and what happens is sue gets in this very strange spin you can see he starts to do it here, and then he is actually just going to loop around out of the play. Now, as he loops around, I want to kind of keep the camera back here. It's going to be difficult to get on the correct players, but as Sue spins, you can see DeAndre Levy, DeAndre Levy, however you want to say it, he basically runs in and just gets caught up underneath Sue and falls into the ground. So I don't know how, one, I don't know how Sue gets spun like that, but two, I don't know what you know Levy is checking to get ran into like this. And basically just you know get taken out of the play now on the opposite side of this we've got Palmer back here I guess not to be outdone I don't know exactly what he's doing whether he's tripping over Matthews or whatever the case is gonna be but he literally goes full bore porpoise here I mean there's really no impact to his feet and yet he goes basically straight up and over into the ground as if he's literally got the ball diving for a touchdown on the other side now, as we talked about, it's not just defensive. We're going to back this up to the beginning, and we're just going to focus on Peyton because I want to talk about awareness. And obviously, at the goal line, one of the biggest awareness things you're going to have is getting the ball across the plane. I mean, we've seen players do this from day one, receivers, halfbacks, tight ends, fullbacks. We've seen it from the other side where a player will run and take a knee at the one-yard line so that they can prevent a score from being made and, a, and obviously let a team run the clock out. So when you have one of the greatest players of all time in, in Walter Payton and you see him run this close to the goal line and never actually extend this ball across it to score a touchdown, it really is astonishing. And the fact that a touchdown was scored on the next play isn't the point. For whatever reason, I kind of start to get sucked into a tackle right there. But again, I mean, look at the position of the end zone and to zoom out, you can see that is the end zone. Look at the position of the ball and look at how much effort it would take to get this ball across the plane. I mean, literally, it's the only part of him not across the plane is the part that's holding the ball. And yet he continues to drive forward sideways, he gets tackled, and then he falls down on the side. So to me, it's just a very sloppy play. It doesn't show a lot of the intelligence that we talked about seeing or getting. I'm going to play it for you at speed. Love to know your guys' opinions on this. I appreciate you checking it out, and I will be back in the week with more content.